Hey guys, this is Angela from Create Yourself That Today, your personal trainer, your personal nutritionist, health and wellness coach, your personal fat loss coach. Uh, as you might know, I'm on a journey to reach my uh, leanest body self to prepare for a sports model competition. And uh, as a result, I'm researching more and more the science of uh, fat loss, nutrition, exercise, and so calorie deficit is essential but you gotta figure it out through experimentation the second thing you want to understand if you want to reach your single body fat percentage is quality of food matters a lot for example right now my daily uh, caloric limit as i said for myself based on my experience and on my goals is 1555 uh, it might be adjusted depending on my um, progress as I come closer to my sports uh, model competition at the end of April. So uh, 1500 calories I get from, so the best foods for fat loss are a lot. So uh, 1500 calories I get from, so the best foods for fat loss are a lot, a lot of vegetables. So this is my big ass salad. So I eat vegetables fresh or cook every day. Green, leafy, fresh vegetables and also non-starchy, colorful vegetables like your Brussels sprouts, your broccoli, uh, your cauliflower, sometimes bell peppers, anything non-starchy, uh, non-starchy vegetables, you want to eat a lot of them. Then the, those foods are actually, especially fresh one, you can call uh, negative calorie foods. Why? Because uh, in order for your body to get the energy from them, uh, you got to spend quite a lot of energy digesting them and it's not an easy process fiber rich vegetables non such vegetables are one of the foods that takes the most digestion and plus those vegetables have a lot of fiber that your body cannot digest at all the only great thing about the fiber is it feeds your gut bacteria and improves your gut health so this is very beneficial when you're trying to be the healthiest you and especially trying to get the leanest you so vegetables like i also have um, here, like, um, this is Swiss chard, um, a lot of vegetables, I always have a lot of vegetables, so this is fresh leafy greens, I eat every single day, so something like half of this pack I eat every single day, um, so, um, so, quality of food matters again. Then uh, the second best thing for your metabolism to get to your leanest cell, the foods that you need to be consuming on a daily basis are what I like to call fatty protein. Um, fatty protein meaning it's protein with healthy fats. Nothing stripped away, don't look for linear cuts, you need fat. You need actually to get the most energy from your fats so your hormones are in balance, so your energy is up, so you have enough energy to work out, so, you metabolize, so your metabolism doesn't slow down and you actually become a fat burning machine. And when you have calorie deficit, your body starts burning your own fat. That's what you teach your body when you consume most of your calories from fat. So my favorite fatty protein are pasture rice, eggs, uh, full eggs, never egg whites, just full eggs. Um, then uh, my favorite fatty protein is something uh, like fatty fish, uh, herring for example, um, sardines. Uh, I also love um, to eat salmon. Um, remember that the best fatty fish for you is smash fish. This uh, salmon, mackerel, anchovies, sardines, and delicious. So this another uh, my taper, my favorite type of fatty protein. And then you, if you eat um, something like poultry or beef, then you don't want to be looking for the uh, leanest cuts. You want to look for the fattiest cuts, actually, for organ meats, uh, for uh, meats with a lot of nutrition. Make sure that it's grass fat, make sure that it's organic, make sure that your meats are not fat, any antibiotics, any, any hormones. So, um, what else? On top of that, to get more calories, because you need to be consumed just enough protein, and enough protein means. Um, 0.7 or something like that multiplied by your weight in pounds if you're an active person that's how much protein you need on a daily basis especially if you're a guy 
So besides that, consume your healthy fats from things like olive oil. Make sure it's good quality olive oil. Things like coconut oil. Um, uh, things like you know good dressings like avocado oil. This is uh, a dressing from Primal Kitchen. I love it. And uh, it, um, so that's where you want to consume most of your calories. So my macros, uh, as I told you, I consume right now 1,500 calories a day, and my macros are. 70% of my calories come from healthy fats that comes in my whole foods and comes from additional oils. 20% uh, comes from proteins. Uh, that's what I find works the best for active people, 20-25% that preserves your lean body mass but doesn't increase inflammation in your body. As you train, you need to recover more cells and more muscle tissue. So Protein is important, but make sure that it's good quality of protein. And then 10% of my calories come from carbs. And if you want to lean single digits or um, um, smaller teen percentage of body fat, then you gotta make sure um, that your carbs come from. I mean, like 90% or most of it comes from non-starchy vegetables, your leafy greens, your slightly cooked. Uh, steamed or sauteed um, veg yeah, non starchy vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, uh, Brussels sprouts, uh, bell peppers, uh, all the amazing non starchy vegetables, different kind of radishes, mushrooms, all these vegetables. That's where you want to be getting your carbs and most of those carbs will be fiber that's going to improve your gut health and going to increase your metabolism that will allow you to eat more without actually getting in more calories. So a lot of good stuff. See the specific data, like what I eat on a daily basis, calories and foods in uh, my Fitness Pal app. Uh, I'm cre my create yourself today on that app, and uh, you can see all the foods I'm eating. You can see all my macros. But let's take today. So what did I eat today? So my breakfast was my um, bulletproof coffee, my own version of it, and that was. Um, for Sigmatic coffee and uh, my MCT powder. Um, I'll post the link or pictures uh, underneath this video. So MCT powder uh, and um, mushroom coffee and three and three eggs. So three whole boiled eggs. That was my breakfast. Macros were almost ideal. So 70% fat, 20% protein, 10% carbs, and then. I have two meals a day. I don't eat five meals a day. Eating five meals a day is um, not necessary to get the lean self. In fact, it, it's not really good for your longevity or your uh, long-term health or your hormones. So my meal, my second and biggest meal of the day is my lunch. And I'm going to have this big salad with a lot of greens, with olive oil, with this amazing dressing. Uh, I also added some mushrooms. I also added some uh, fermented vegetables. This is red cabbage, red cabbage sauerkraut. What else? I'm gonna have two eggs that I already cooked. I'm gonna have these two fishes that end up being, I believe, uh, 300 something calories. So my whole lunch gonna end up being uh, around one 1100 calories quite a lot and that's how I like it most of the calories will come from fat the again the macro is going to be around 70% fat 20% protein and 10% carbs and then I have my snack that I love that is not necessary but I love them sea snacks so these are roasted in olive oil um, seaweed uh, with some onions it tastes amazing and it's amazing great nutrition, all organic, um, olive oil, no canola oil. And then to finish my lunch, I actually gonna have my uh, multivitamin. This one is one of the best on the market. All the uh, kinds of vitamins that you need in the bioavailable form, mean the form that your body actually can absorb. And that's it for today. And then I'm gonna do my intermittent fasting. I fast for 18 hours, we can absorb. And that's it for today. And then I'm gonna do my intermittent fasting. I fast for 18 hours a day, consuming no calories at all. So I'm getting quite hungry. 
um, and about to finish this uh, video. So 10% body fat nutrition or single digit for guys. You want to understand three things. Calories matter. Uh, your body will not burn fat unless you are in a deficit, but that doesn't mean that you got to consume a certain amount of calories. You got to figure out that through practice because we have different lifestyle, different physiques, different requirements. Uh, quality of your calories matter the most. So you want to make sure that for a single body fat percentage, you consume uh, most of your food from your vegetables, from your um, fatty protein, and of course from additional um, from additional healthy fats like olive oil, like coconut oil, and similar. So the macronutrients are also very, very important. On a high carb diet, unless you are an endurance athlete, it's almost impossible to get to single body fat percentage. So you wanna make sure that your macros are in check. Macros are macronutrients, fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. And the best ratio that I found is somewhere around 70% fat, you need your fat for energy, for your hormonal balance, for uh, basically great gains in the gym, great energy and great performance mental and physical. So 20% of your calories should come from protein and that end up, ends up being somewhere around 0.7 multiplied by your body weight in pounds. That's enough protein for a negative person who works out and that's what you want to do if you want to have lean body mass because if you don't use your muscles you lose your muscles and you're never gonna um, you're never gonna reach your single digit body fat percentage so 20% protein 70% of your calories come from good quality fats most of them should come in whole foods like pasteurized eggs like fatty fish or as grass fed beef and then 10% of your calories should come from carbohydrates and those carbohydrates should be your vegetables fiber rich non-starchy vegetables, all kinds of fresh leafy greens, all kinds of, uh, um, all kinds of, you know, Brussels sprouts, uh, cabbages, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, bell peppers, radishes, mushrooms, all non-starchy vegetables. You can Google non-starchy vegetables and have a full list. Um, a lot, those are a lot, a lot of vegetables. What I said just now is just very very short list and then you can you can eat things like avocados and all these also healthy fats full of fiber amazing um so yeah